hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here thanks for tuning in and if you have been my subscriber thanks and god bless you in this video i'm going to show you how i make this look how i achieve this look watch and god bless you so guys i'm very sorry that this video the stand I used in doing this camera didn't appear very well. I'm so sorry that the camera was not filming it the way properly. So I'm sorry about that. Please bear with me now. I'll just let me just show tell you how I make this look. First, we just apply a little bit of gel on the natural hair. This is natural virgin hair. Then you just make a corn roll on the hair. I made one corner in the middle and two big ones in the other side just three corners then the other one I just have to make like bust braid but in this video normally I'm supposed to use her natural hair without extensions I'm supposed to use natural hair but her natural hair in the front part it's very very short so I had to I have to add a little bit of extensions to it but the extensions I add to it is just very little and I made the look of like the one I did the other time the not less braids so I make it that way I made it not less braid so that the braids will not be too big from the bottom so I have to start with her natural hair in the bottom of the hair and gradually I add a little bit of extensions if your hair is long and uh, you don't need extensions so you can just do it with your natural hair you don't really need extensions this is how I achieved this look and you just add a little bit of extensions to it then you will get your bust braids done without stress so I just add a little bit of extensions to it and I'm making the bust braid I'm going to make the bust braid both part like this I make three lines here and three lines there. No, six lines, six here, six here. I patted it into two and I'm going to make three in one side and three in the other side. Same technique in the other part of the hair also. So you make the other side of the hair, same technique, and uh, you achieve the look. I finished making the six braids here and six braids in the other side. So now I'm going to put the hair in a bun, in a, in a bun together so that I can make the ponytail style. So before making the bun, the hair, her hair is very, very short. So I have to shed her hair into two in the back part. And first of all, tie the bottom part of it with a thread just to tie so that the ponytail will hold a little bit because her hair is not that long and she has a virgin hair. So this is how I make it. Then after I put the two bands together to make it one, and I'm going to put the cornrows that I've done already in the same band to make it very um, tight. Then after then, I'm going to tie it very, very strong to make sure the hair doesn't come out. Now I'm going to make this like a C shape in one side facing the left and the other one is C shape facing right hand side just to make the that is the buzz braid I have done already I make this one like this I'm, I'm going to make the other side the same I'm really really sorry that the video the camera is not showing the hair properly I'm really really sorry I pray it won't happen again next time please bear with me so I'm going to tie the Bus braids after making a C shape on the band too, and I'm going to make the other one a C shape also to realize this look. So this is how I make this part of the hair, and I'm going to make the other parts, the other side, same technique. So I didn't bother to show it because same the technique. Now I'm going to apply gel. You can use any gel of your choice, but now I'm using Echo gel echo gel is very good but you can choose any gel of your choice it's okay so now i'm just going to comb the hair 
comb the hair with the comb so that the the hair will go in properly now i'm going to i'm tying the i'm tying the hair with a scarf so i can put it in the dryer so that the hair will become a little bit more uh, stable and more tight so the gel can penetrate properly before i put her in the dryer now she's already in the dryer for it to dry for like 30 minutes now after bringing her out of the dryer i need to uh, apply this ponytail it's not a ponytail it's a weave on her hair because she wants something like a ponytail so i'm just applying the weave on the hair with just a needle and thread this i'm going to make this one round I just make it round, round, round. Then just with the needle and thread, make sure you're careful because I put a lot of layers together to make the ponytail very thick because she wants it very thick. So by the time, make sure you make everything accurately. I'm trying to make it very close to each other. This is the finishing work of the hair and uh, she loves it she's so happy about her hair so guys if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to this channel share this video with your friends share with your family share with your loved ones and give me a big thumbs up and you will see me in my next video Thank you so much for watching. I'm, I really, really appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Mwah.